Hey, how are you doing? I hope you're right. I hope you've been good and I hope you've been productive. Getting straight into the video, I want to make it completely clear that this video is like a complete, absolute beginner's guide. So if you are literally just getting on self-improvement, you're just starting to go to the gym, and you're literally like walking in and you don't know what any of the equipment does, you don't know what works out what, you don't know how to actually like, you don't know what you're doing. This is a complete beginner's guide and this is 100% the video for you where I'm going through a complete beginner's workout routine which you can do consistently for the next 20 years if you wanted to and never burn out. It's complete beginning and it's also to get you comfortable with the gym, just comfortable with the gym sort of like atmosphere and just to get you used to the machines. After the, your first month of first time to go to the gym and if you want to do more, go ahead, you can do more. But this is a complete beginner's guide if you have no idea what you're doing. So let's just get straight into the video. My name is Wada and I help other young men like me take back control of their lives. So to get straight into it, my split for my first month that I was going to the gym is that I went to the gym three times a week. Monday, chest and try, Wednesday, back and biceps, and then Friday, legs and abs. And you're probably sat there already thinking, whoa, 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 only three times a week. That's nothing, that's nothing. What do you mean only three times? Other people go six, six times a week, only one day rest. You're completely starting brand new. This is your first time going to the gym. And three times a week is more than you would have been doing oh, the whole of last year, maybe. The whole of last year going three times a week would have been way more than you've ever done before. Granted, it's only three times a week, but you're still going way more than you've ever done, and this won't burn you out. There is no chance of burning out and, like, giving up. You've got to have the mindset that you're going to be going to the gym for the next 20 years, rather than the guy who's done an amazing workout every single day, but for only two weeks, and then he gives up after. You want to be the guy who's in there long term, and this way you won't burn out. Okay, so Monday, chest and try. I start with the bigger muscle groups, so the chest, because if you don't and you start with triceps first, you're gonna be really tired when you actually start doing chest and you're not gonna be able to lift as much. And it's a bigger muscle group, so you're gonna to need to be able to lift more so it grows bigger. So for chest, I do chest press, dumbbell press, and incline dumbbell press. It's not a lot, it's only three exercises, but this is more than enough for you to grow in your first month and just to get used to the feeling of working out your chest and it's all I've needed for my first month. Obviously you could go to the bench but then you probably don't know the correct form and you'll probably injure yourself which I definitely didn't do. God I really hurt my shoulder on that. So you don't want to go to the bench press and then try and then accidentally screw up your shoulder and not go to the gym for two weeks. Don't do a me. And then for chess I like to aim for 10 reps, 4 sets. 10 reps but barely so you can do it 10 times but if you try and do an 11 you'll fail so that's kind of what you want to aim for so experiment with what weight works for you to be able to do that you're just starting out so it probably won't be a lot but in your first month you'll have something known as beginner's strength so your strength will exponentially like increase just by going to the gym for was it consistently for a month for triceps i do only two exercises and this is all i've needed for triceps and my triceps are like one of my biggest growths for me uh, all i've needed is tricep pull downs one with the rope and one with bar now for triceps i tend to aim for 15 reps four sets again uh, only because triceps are a much smaller part of your body so you want to be able to do a little bit more otherwise you're gonna end up not growing them a lot but same again you want to be able to do 15 but barely so if you try to do 16 you fail so experiment with the weight okay wednesday back and biceps again we're going to start with the bigger muscle group and that's our back for back i like to do pull-ups pull downs and seated cable rows. Obviously, you might not be able to do pull-ups right now, uh, so if you can't, pull-downs and seated cable rows are plenty in the first month. However, you'll probably end up being able to do a pull-up within that month, so it's really good to implement pull-ups into them. And with the reps and sets for back, I keep it exactly the same as chest. So 10 reps, four sets, exactly the same. It doesn't complicate it for you. And they're both big muscle groups, so it's nice and easy. 
Okay, biceps. I only have two for this. And bicep curls, which is amazing. Bicep curls are just... You could probably just need that. Uh, but bicep curls and hammer curls. Hammer curls, because they're great. And they also work out your for forearms as well. So you get the big forearms, not just the biceps. You want to get the forearms too. And for biceps, I do the exact same amount of reps and sets for triceps. So 15 reps, 4 sets. And Friday, legs and abs. Now, I'm going to go through the leg exercises that are kind of more beginner friendly, and then I'll go through the exercises which are slightly more intermediate. So for the complete beginner like leg exercises, you've got, I do leg press, calf raises on the machine, and uh, Bulgarian uh, split squats. Uh, with dumbbells. Now these are really really good but the other ones that I do for like intermediate is uh, squats and RDLs which is Romanian deadlifts. Now the only reason that I say that this is more intermediate and not really beginner friendly is because if you don't have a correct form and like a good form when you're doing it you can seriously injure yourself from squats and RDLs especially your back. You can pop out your back and that's if you pop out your back that's an instant two months recovery time and you won't be able to go to the gym so that's why i'm saying don't start with squats and rdl straight away because you probably don't have the correct form and you're probably going to hurt yourself so if you have someone who can teach you the correct form or you go in and research yourself or you have a personal trainer that's when i recommend like after your first month, if you want to get a personal trainer or someone like a friend who's been doing the gym for a long time who can teach you, that's when I recommend doing squats and RDLs because they are really, really good for legs. Uh, I didn't do them in my first month. I did it after my first month and I had a friend teach me. They are really, really good. You could probably do squats and RDLs only and that's enough to work out legs. But right now, might not be such a good idea for you. So, leg press, calf raises, and Bulgarian squats, they are plenty. They are plenty for now. Especially Bulgarian squats. Those ones suck, but they're good. And then for abs, I tend to only focus on the lower two abs, only because they are the most hardest ones to build. That Everyone has the top two abs. They're the easiest to, to, to develop. The lower two are the most difficult abs to develop. And I say just focus on those two because you can't work out those two without working out the rest of your abs. It's almost impossible. So just by focusing on the lower two, you'll get the top set of abs and you'll be working out the lower two, so you'll be getting that much quicker than other people. There are lots of different ab workouts which you can do which just focuses on the lower two, but so I just go search up that yourself. Uh, it's mainly to do with um, your, your, what was it? hip like spinal hip flexion now shoulders yes i know they weren't in the actual split and people are saying like oh what, what, what shoulders what, what about shoulders i just throw them in any day that they don't ache mainly uh monday and wednesday when i'm doing chest or tries or back or by i just throw them in any day that they don't ache and for shoulders i really like doing lateral uh, raises an incline dumbbell. Now, incline dumbbell, you're probably thinking, like, wait, but that was in chest. So when you're doing your chest incline dumbbell, you want to make sure that the bench that you're sitting on is very angled. So it's only a little bit up. It's very, very angled. This will be working out your chest more than your shoulders. When you're working out shoulders and you're doing incline dumbbell, you want that bench to be almost upright not entirely but almost upright this will work out your shoulders way more than you work out your chest that's one important thing to keep in mind and that's it that's what i do on my week that's my split and that's exactly what i did for my first month after your first month i really do recommend like looking at diet uh, looking at other factors maybe upping the amount of times you go to the gym maybe four times and uh, obviously looking at like different exercises, more exercises that you can add in because right now, like I said, this is a complete beginner friendly workout routine just to get you comfortable going to the gym and also to see progress and consistently see progress even though it's your first month and you won't injure yourself with any of these. 
but I do recommend going off in your own time and researching the form because if you have good form when you're doing a workout, that could half the amount of time it takes to grow. That is how important that your posture and form is. It works out the muscles properly. So do take your own time to look into that. And after your first month, look at implementing more exercises in because you'll probably be a lot more confident and you'll be bigger and you'll be stronger so you'll be able to work out more. Save this video so when you're actually in the gym that you can actually like go back and look at the workouts to do or just write it down. I don't really mind. And that's it. Hopefully this video helped you out. If it did, please click on the one in the corner because this could most definitely change your life as well. Stay consistent and do the best you can. Love you, bro. You know what time it is? Self-improvement kiss. Mwah. Also, yeah, uh, the Wham Asian, an amazing hat. I absolutely love it.